the Verlander sweepstakes, Joe, to me, is actually more high octane, more interesting than DeGrom's somehow, considering their ages. So now the Mets have to decide here. So you're obviously not going to get both of those guys. Uh, you would you would think they would prioritize one of the two, given that Jake was their own. Verlander doesn't have the qualifying offer attached, so there's no uh, loss of draft pick there. But they're probably looking for similar type of contracts. Maybe Jake is trying to get four years right now, might end up having to settle for three or three in an option. Uh, if you're looking at similar contracts, do you want to go Justin Verlander, who is 40 years old or turning 40? I forget his exact, exact age, but either way, he's going to be 40. Do you want to give someone like that where it could fall off at any time? Or do you want to give it to a guy like Jacob deGrom, who is younger by age, but his health problems have been pretty significant over the last couple of years? I don't know which one you feel better about over the next couple of years. I think it's a it's a very hard decision, uh, but Verlander's market certainly warrants watching with the Mets, and I'm interested to see how willing they w- the Mets would be to pursue a Verlander instead of a DeGrom. Or is it just if DeGrom signs somewhere else, the Mets will pivot to Verlander? Yeah, and is that a luxury that exists in this day and age, like you said, pivoting to Verlander? Verlander could come off the board before DeGrom. I actually expect Verlander to come off the board before DeGrom does, but we know how baseball free agency go 